the Associated Press uh, that the American government has created weather tampering techniques so that the new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans and to control the rest. Would you explain what you were trying to say? Well, it, it, what I was trying to say is exactly what I said. There is weather control techniques. We have a complete package on that, which I did not bring, but I certainly will see to it that it is brought in for the record. Number one, the entire patents on the equipment. Number two, Senator Claiborne Pell's complete statement and story of his own that not only does it exist, but that we even utilize it as far back as the Vietnam War. You might want to touch base That's with right, Senator but Pell. I, I just want to repeat Speaking. before so, I turn to So yes, yes so but we do have all that information. That you're saying the government has created weather tampering techniques so that the, quote, new world order will be able to starve millions of Americans. Worldwide. Millions of Americans and to control the rest. Yes, sir, and that's my belief. As bizarre as that sounds, when if somebody had told me that that equipment even existed 10 years ago, I would have thought they were nuts, sir. And at this point in time, we have all the documents to prove it. And if you think that 85 tornadoes takes place in the middle of our growing area by simultaneous accident, I'm, I'm sorry. With the equipment that's already set up internationally, and as bizarre as that is, it is proven and documented. We will supply you with those documents. As bizarre as that is, I would say that weather wars, and this is uh, quoting actually Senator Claiborne Pell himself, that they are the greatest weapon ever created in the world, and that's the senator's own statement. So yes, I have to do stand on that. Thank you, Mr. Clark. What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Friday, October 18th, 2024. He who controls the weather controls the world and they also control the media your financial institutions and the highest levels of academia and your local meteorologist and tonight we're going to take a look at one of america's leading meteorologists lying on national television these people are trained actors and paid liars they don't answer to you and i they serve the dark occulted control system do you still trust the science this next clip comes from one of the most absurd, mentally stunting, idiotic TV shows on network television. And if you listen carefully, you can hear another voice feeding this information as Ginger speaks. Let's listen. Cloud seeding is something that I studied in school for meteorology, weather modification. Mm -hmm. Back when I went to school, it was like, I poo-pooed a little bit. It was too expensive, it's not efficient enough. Well, guess what, when you get desperate, and then technology gets better. 20 years later, here we are. Cloud seeding is ramping up so big. You see me there showing that flare on the plane. They send silver iodide into the clouds, and, it it and then it makes it snow more. Oh, wow. So they can't make a cloud, right? But they're taking storms that are already there and then giving it a little boost. So cloud seeding is only a small part of the geoengineering program. But this is what they want you to think when you see all of the airplanes in the sky. The plan is much more nefarious. Now Ginger said we can't make clouds. That in itself was a huge lie. In fact, we have many ways to make clouds from rockets, stratospheric aerosol injection, tropospheric aerosol injection, high altitude balloons also release cloud making payloads. And right now, we're gonna watch clouds being created from the ground. The most amazing thing is that that cloud up there, which was generated by the engine, is just a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. It's water vapor. And in about an hour's time, someone in Mississippi is going to get wet washing. It will actually rain. I told you. It's raining. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh. NASA's playing God. It's making its own weather. Yeah, we get it. You preach climate science while you use 
dark occulted science and hypnotize your viewers using twisted psychology. Let's take a look at a couple photos from last week's geomagnetic storm where we can clearly see technologically induced northern lights. The first image was sent to me by Rhonda Thompson Leonard from Iowa. Can you see the pulse rings? Where else have we seen the same pattern? Well, let's take a look at the radar returns from Hurricane Helene. Here is another radar return from the Ketchikan, Alaska landslide coming from a Nexrad location. Nancy Jane sent this photo of the auroras from Montana and once again we have the use of technology, harnessing the power of nature and using it as a weapon against the world and our minds, leading us through the Great Reset. They create event after event, all the while quietly implementing the pact for the future. The dream is over. The future is now. Wake up. All right, guys, I'd like to thank McPatty, Crystal Wiederholt, Wendy Walser Brandt, and Adrian Pitt for supporting the channel. You guys keep the show going, and I couldn't do it without you. Much love and many thanks. And if you want to be a supporting member of the channel, check out my links in the description box. Now hit that like button, share these videos, and until next time, stay aware, be prepared, and keep looking up.